we're showing here is an equipment called Expedition DI. It's a simulation and training tool for our ground soldiers. Someone would say it's a cool game. Well, it is based on gaming technology, so the software looks like it's a game, but it's a training tool, so it helps assist our ground soldiers to learn how to uh, you know, analyze the environment and also work together as a team. We're seeing the soldiers uh, playing or uh, training using this uh, technology. What are they doing? So what they're doing is they're actually using the schools that they learn how to fight with. They're learning how to look around, they're learning how to communicate, they're using the skills to be able to go take knee, go prone, and physically identify targets that they need to go attack. And that's what they're learning you know, in the simulation and training school to actually hone those skills and use them. And when they're uh, done with the training, they'll be better prepared. What are they using? Technically speaking, I saw them pressing some sort of button. Sure. So they have a number of equipment on themselves. So they have an electronically instrumented weapon that lets them you know, control the gaming environment. They have a joystick that lets them move around. They have uh, trackers on their body that lets them, when they look left, right, etc., to detect in the game. And that's all powered by a workstation computer that's strapped on their back. We mentioned gamers. Gamers would love to have uh, that technology at home, right? Oh, I'm sure. We get that request all the time. And uh, it definitely uh, is uh, pretty cool to uh, play in. But it's, it's, a it's a training tool for our soldiers. <laughs> now you're here in Israel. What can you tell us about uh, the interest, what your goals are coming here? So we're here supporting our partner CTI, and the interest has been enormous. We've been continuously busy, you know, from interested parties looking at this equipment. It's the first time we've actually shown it here in Israel, so we're actually very excited about the opportunity. Really, one of the challenges maybe in Israel throughout the past year is fighting an urban environment, and this technology deals with that. Exactly. So whether, you know, you're doing rural fighting or urban fighting and virtual training, you can create a model for big cities or farmlands. And you can put soldiers into those virtual worlds so they get better immersed, whether regardless of what type of fighting they're going to be trained for. Yeah.